。那么，改革开放以后呢，我们一直城市得到了很大的发展。我们刚才讲的前面的说的中国的城市集中度，无论从 GDP 的集中度和人口的集中度，和国际相比还不够的原因，我个人觉得和这三十七年来的有些政策是相关的。So um, after develop after the、uh, reform and opening up and uh, yes, uh, cities have developed a lot, but as I've said just now, our concentration of GDP, our concentration of population、um, is still not good enough. And I think it has got to do with the policy that we have adopted, the policies that we have adopted over the past 37 years of reform and opening up. Because in China, before the reform and opening up, the main policy of the government is to control the development of the city. They want to allow more residents to live in the villages to produce food to maintain the Chinese economy for the rest of the year. So that is because before the reform and opening up, what is、uh, very much guiding the government is that it tries to control、uh, the urban population, stop them from going to too many of them or from going to the urban、uh, to the cities, because it wants them to stay in the villages, stay in the rural areas to grow,、um, rise and greens to to feed the hungry stomachs. 在那个时候，中国的农民是不能允许自随便的、自由的进入城市的。At that time, in fact,、uh, the rural peasants, we call them 农民、uh, they can't actually enter the cities as they please. 他们进入城市，往往需要他居住的所在地的政府给他出具一个证明，他才能出来。So if they want to enter the city at that time, you know, they have to get the local government to give them a, a, some kind of certificate, some kind of proof, and so that with that document, can they enter the city? 但是改革开放以后，中国发展的市场经济以后，显然这样的体制是不行的。因此呢，必然有一部分农民会转转入这个工业。So, but after reform and opening up, and with China's introduction of the market economy, and we, of course, you know, cannot still stick with such a kind of policy. And so, some of very naturally, some of these、um, uh, rural peasants, they will have to undertake uh, some uh, uh, change of profession. That is, they have to move into the industries. 那么，当这种由农民自己办的一些工厂出现以后呢？中国政府当时的政策就是叫，你可以办工业，也可以不再种地了，但是你只能当时有一个政策叫离土不离乡，就是你可以离开不种地了，但你不能离开你的家乡。So of course, at that time, the government's policy was that okay, now we are having a market economy, so we have some of these rural populations send, setting up their own factories. Um, having their own industries, and the Chinese government policy at that time was that yes, you can set up own industries. You don't have to、uh, plant crops, you know. But the policy is that you can leave the land, as in your agricultural land, but you cannot leave your hometown. You must stay within the village, the rural areas. So, in 1980, at the time, the main focus was on the farmers, mostly in their own backyard. 啊，建了一些我们叫做乡镇企业。So that was about the 1980s, and some of these we call them 农民 I think it's easier for you to remember. These 农民 or these uh, rural uh, uh, peasants, they would set up their own little enterprises, you know, within their own townships and their own counties. We call them、uh, TVEs, which is Township Village Enterprises, 乡镇企业 TVEs. 那么城这个这个城市化的过程呢，是以非常分散的形式进行的，一直到了这二零零六年，我们仍然把大中小城市齐啊这个叫齐头并进啊，这个尽量控制大城市的规模，基本上是我们中国政府的一个指导思想。So you can imagine by doing that, in fact, it is a very scattered way of、uh, urban development or urbanization. Even up until about 2006, you still have, you know, the, the, the big and medium-sized and the small cities、um, 
going through the process of, organi uh, of urbanization. And the Chinese government is actually still very much controlling the urbanization rate of uh, the, um, the larger cities. So, in the past year, in the past year, we have been able to get a lot of money to get a lot of money to get a so you can uh, so up until about the first ten years of the twenty first century, you can imagine that there's a lot of wastage in terms of the way they use the land and uh, resources. Also, was not concentrated, and also because of pollution, to deal with pollution, to treat pollution, because it's also dispersed and so so scattered. It was also very expensive. Uh, 让扩大它的规模, so in the last ten years or so, there are some cities that have actually opened the doors in the sense that they will encourage you know, people from outside to set up homes in their cities. 其实在这个过程中, 原来非常分散的那种小企业, so the, as I said, you know, it was uh, in on, on originally it was you know Kaiko Kaifang, and then you have the little sporadic sprouting up of the small little TVEs and all that. Um, but later on, now many of them have already closed down, gone bankrupt, and now many of them are uh, uh, aggregated around the cities. 也就是说，在近三十七年里头，我们的钱差不多二十多年，这个路子是不太对的。虽然城市化的进程是在向前走，但是这种城市化的这种政策上存在很多问题。So I would say during the 37 years of reform and opening up, the first 20 odd years, in fact, we feel that I feel that the road, the path has not been very correct. Um, mainly also, it's because I think many of the problems actually comes from a policy issue. 